It goes without saying that water is important. We cannot live more than a few days without it, and it's vital for all living organisms on Earth. Without water, we couldn't grow crops, keep livestock, wash our food, nor regulate the Earth's climate. So what a resource would it be to be able to move water from one place to another and even lift it to flow freely and with free energy? We came across several viral videos claiming the ability to lift water to flow to a higher outlet, but many of you were skeptical. So we thought we'd save you the time by trying to replicate the system ourselves to see if it's really possible. The neighbors over here, he only needs to lift four meters and it, from a well and then he could, he could sustain an inch and a half pipe day and night. So that would save him a bit of money also. We're going to go see Don Daniels and, and have a look at another application. But literally in this area, there would be thousands of people that could save money through having this kind of pump. So here's another, just the neighbor on the other side. And uh, he's blocking a stream. It's a seasonal stream that will dry up. He actually has put some rings down here to make it like a little well, so it'll last longer in the dry season. You can see from how little flow beneath that little dam there is, and it's so slow and such a low amount of flow that a ram pump wouldn't work. And, and uh, if you have a good amount of flow, a ram pump would be an excellent solution to pump up to a, a high pond and then to irrigate from that. So why we're testing this pump is because there are a lot of situations with shallow, shallow um, ponds and low volume flow rivers. In this instance, he's lifting like two meters to the pump and then another two meters to his field. So it was within the range of this, uh, of this, the vacuum pump, but um, unfortunately, unless it has a good enough volume, what's going to happen is, even if he leave, leaves it running 24/7, if it works and does lift the four meters, if it doesn't have enough volume, it will just uh, wet the initial part of his cultivation and won't get down low enough. It'll be too much work to manage. So. We knew we needed to follow Bernoulli's principle to maintain a steady flow of water. So, Patrick, a mechanical engineer from Brighton, England, came to Miske to support the development of water harvesting techniques in our local community. According to Bernoulli, the late great Swiss mathematician and physicist, water can be lifted to a higher point than the source through the generation of vacuous pressure when water leaves the system. The theoretical maximum height is 8 meters. That is assuming no friction losses in the system. Miske is at 2,000 meters altitude, so we won't be able to lift as high because our atmospheric pressure is less than at sea level. We also have friction losses due to pipe diameters and bends in the line. We set out to minimize these friction losses and identify the optimal diameters for both the pipe lifting and outlet pipe. It was imperative for the system to have a hermetic seal. Let's see if we can test these variables with the objective of proving whether this kind of free energy pump can be suitable for flood irrigation, lifting water from a lower source starting at the well. To be a feasible solution for irrigation, the pump needs to be able to lift a decent volume of water at a useful rate, at least three meters higher than the source. We've started the pump and we're now measuring how much flow is gonna come out. So in the system when it was primed, so that's adding water into the pump in order to give it that initial energy, we filled it with about 220 litres of water. So if we produce more than 220 litres of water, which is 11 buckets, it means we're sucking water from the well. So we're trying to understand how much water are we putting out of the well. Have you seen Ayri by Entraj? Ciao. Is that terminate? Yeah. So he's not done it? <laughs> nah. Que pena. Tiene que sacar así seguidamente. See, esto, esto, boom, boom, boom. For me, it doesn't happen much. But for me, that air going in. Back to the drawing board. <laughs> As it's impossible to have zero friction losses in the system, this means that such a vacuum pump will reach a point where it stops lifting water as these losses accumulate over time. Another problem is that the vacuous pressure could accumulate to surpass the resistance of the barrel, causing the sides to collapse inwards. This was mentioned in other videos we watched. So next, we trialed at the pond.
the first thing we did was prime the header tank basically with some water and we don't have a, a stop valve on the bottom there so we just had a cut off so it, uh, once it's full it wouldn't uh, it would keep the water in the pipe and let's see Right, do we have any section there, mate? Yeah, we do. So the first, the first one we got 200. Um, again, that's not really a pump or a siphon. Yeah, it work. Uh, the second go. This is different than yesterday and then all the other things. It's just a consistent flow. You can't hear air going in. Things that are different are we've left it overnight, which means that the seals, the compressive seals between the pipes, are now actually probably airtight. Because we're below the waterline, we do just have a siphon. So it will flow forever. We've got something that sort of worked. And then I crossed that out. It didn't work. Okay, so just to recap, our primary aim with this project was to see if we could create a pump that uh, had enough flow and ability to lift water from a lower source and flood irrigate uh, so that people in the valleys didn't have to use gasoline and, and have an expense. And it's a big fail. In fact, if I had have known the science, the scientific formula before we started, I would have realized that uh, it wasn't going to be a solution. Basically, it can only lift just under 8 meters, and that's at sea level, and it has friction losses. That means at some point in time, it's going to break the seal and not, and not work. There is a paper that the viral video makers uh, put out. They only managed to lift 25 centimeters, and it didn't run for very long. So, yeah, it's not a solution. It's basically a glorified siphon. There's a lot of easier ways to do it. I note that uh, some of the latest videos on YouTube basically do show that. Uh, a lot less plumbing it's just an easy way to prime the pipe but you don't need all the barrel and stuff like that our other objective with this project was to see uh, the reason i set it up here at the pond was uh, that we could use this kind of pump to fertigate so take the water that has the fertility from the ducks and the fish and flood irrigate every now and then maybe a crop or the alfalfa and then just refill the pond from the water we get from the river and there's a lot of easier ways to do that. One would be just to put a, a siphon in place, and the other is, uh, is bury a pipe, a straight pipe, into the pond that points a little bit down with a, a valve on the end. We're probably gonna do that this dry season, put that in and uh, be able to take advantage of that uh, yummy water. Either that or put some algae and azola, use that. Hmm, that's another idea. Okay, thanks for watching and uh, I hope we save you the trouble of, and expense of testing whether this can be a solution or not. It's not. It's just a glorified siphon. You're not going to be able to lift a significant amount of water above the original water, water source. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Not going to save the world this time. <laughs> not going to save the world this time, unfortunately.